the white sandy beaches of the Florida Emerald Coast are some of our favorite in the entire state. There are of course numerous water excursions which are also available. We'll place links from Groupon in the description below for the best deals. Hi and welcome to Aiken Adventures. Well, we're taking you to do all the best things and all the best places all around Florida. Today we're taking you to Fort Walton Beach and Okaloosa Island. The first stop on our list is the Gulf Area Marine Adventure Park. Gulf Area Marine Adventure Park seeks to entertain and educate its guests about marine wildlife. They do this through interesting talks and about animals. It's actually critically endangered with only about a leader in the world, although there are of course many other crocodiles. So these penguins live off of the coast of Africa and their particular species requires warmer temperatures. Through animal stunt shows, and through wildlife exhibits. Pierce is taking a look at all the fishies. What do you think of all the fishies? I don't think he's that impressed just yet. You see the turtles and the pelicans? They also have a little place here where you can grab a couple of snacks. So the real win with our three-year-old happened to be that you can purchase popcorn in this souvenir sand pail. It's all empty now, but she can take it with her. They also rehabilitate sea turtles here. For lunch today, we're heading to Stubby's Seafood Shanty. My goodness. Look at this giant thing of okra. This is $3.99. It's a lot more than I expected. I got the grilled shrimp and the collard greens and some seasoned fries. So good. And coleslaw and cheese grits. So Stubies gets a 10 out of 10 for us. We absolutely love it. It's fantastic. If you're ever in Fort Walton Beach, you have to come try it. Next up on our list is the United States Air Force Armament Museum. This place was pretty impressive as soon as we drove up. And even if you're not an aviation enthusiast, I think you'll be pretty impressed with the size of these warbirds. Located adjacent to the Eglin Air Force Base, this museum is the only museum in the United States dedicated to United States Air Force armament. This whole room is filled with cases and cases of weapons. The second level starts at World War I and follows a timeline all the way around to the Vietnam War. And of course a section dedicated to modern war weapons. And probably our favorite part is that it's free admission. Of course donations are appreciated. There's even a gift shop with something for military enthusiasts of all ages. <laughs> Our next stop is located right in the heart of historic downtown Fort Walton Beach. It's the city of Fort Walton Beach Heritage Park and Cultural Center. At this location you'll find the Indian Temple Mound Museum, an Indian Temple Mound, and the Camp Walton Schoolhouse. On the day that we happened to be visiting, none of the attractions were open, so you'll want to check in advance to make sure that they're open when you come and visit. However, you can visit the location and climb to the top of the Temple Mound at any time.
I think my favorite thing about downtown Fort Walton Beach so far is all of the local coffee shops. There are so many to choose from. In downtown Fort Walton Beach, you'll find many fascinating shops. And eateries of all kinds. There's a whole lot that's filled with food trucks. Next, we're heading to Wild Willie's Adventure Zone. <laughs> I'm trying not to laugh at her, but it is funny. She's not real good at all the arcade games yet, though. She's only three. Now we're off to play some putt-putt. There are actually several courses to choose from, ranging from a pirate theme to some dinosaur themed courses. So we're going to check out the kitty course for the miniature golf. She obviously gets her putt-putt skills from me. These dinosaurs are really friendly. They all talk to you if you press a little button here. And you get to learn really cool facts about dinosaurs. There's a giant jungle gym called the Treetop Challenge. They have a frozen yogurt shop called Yogo Mogo. There's 4D theater, laser tag. There are also bumper boats and go-karts. For dinner tonight, we're heading over to the boardwalk. Inside the boardwalk, you'll find numerous shopping and dining options right along the beach. Tonight, we're checking out a place called Owls. When we walked in, there happened to be a family-friendly pirate show taking place, and it was the only night that month that that was happening. But there is live entertainment nightly. The boardwalk is a playground right on the beach. We've actually been worried about how the increase in gas prices would affect Aiken Adventures. And I'm imagining that maybe you're a little concerned about gas prices as well. We found an app that we really like that's called GetUpside. We'll place a referral code in the description below. Just open the app when you need to refuel and you can find a gas station in your area that's offering rebates. You'll get money back on all of your qualifying gas purchases. Well, we hope you enjoyed this video. And if you'd like to know more about nearby Destin, Florida, then click this video right here.